53% of Kia Forte buyers say they regret buying what is described as a solid yet unremarkable compact sedan. It's considered unreliable, below average, and basic transportation, suffering from a stiff ride, and its cabin is extremely loud even by the category's modest standards. What's to say it'll be better for 2023 when there's no new changes expected? It's currently available in four trim levels with an MSRP range between $20,000 and $24,500. All trims except the GT come standard with a 2-liter 4-cylinder rated at 147 horsepower mated to a CVT and front-wheel drive. The optional 201 horsepower turbocharged 1.6-liter 4-cylinder is the way to go. It offers a choice of either a 6-speed manual or 7-speed automatic. Forte rivals include the Honda Civic, Toyota Corolla, Mazda 3, Hyundai Elantra, Subaru Impreza, Nissan Sentra, and Volkswagen Jetta. Even though the Forte stands out in a crowded segment as a strong value, offering a solid mix of stylish designs, excellent fuel economy, and class lean warranty, more than half of owners surveyed say they regret it. Equally regrettable at 53% with zero changes planned for 2023, the Cadillac XT4. Basically scraping the bottom of the barrel among entry-level luxury SUVs, the Cadillac XT4's poor reliability drags down what experts say is a nimble and engaging vehicle with space and amenities on par with most of its competitors, but it has a stiff ride. This two-row compact crossover is available in three trims with an MSRP range between $37.5 and $42 grand. The XT4 is powered by a 235 horsepower turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder teamed with a 9-speed automatic transmission. It is the smallest SUV in the brand's lineup. Rivals include the BMW X1, Lexus UX, Lincoln Corsair, and the Volvo XC40. One of the worst subcompact SUVs with 54% of buyers saying they'd never buy it again is the Jeep Renegade. It too won't see any major changes in 2023, so expect more disappointed buyers next year. Based on appearance and presence and pedigree, there is plenty to like, but handling is overwhelmingly described as cumbersome. The ride choppy, front seats uncomfortable, and the view restricted. What's more, its 9-speed automatic doesn't quite have its gear juggling act together. It's reluctant to downshift. And among subcompact SUVs, it has much worse than average reliability. The Jeep Renegade is available in six trim levels starting below 27 grand with the top trim limited just over 32 grand. All Renegades come with a 1.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder making 177 horsepower. Rivals include the Honda HRV, which is all new for 2023, the Hyundai Kona, and Crosstrek from Subaru. The Infiniti QX50 has just as many disappointed drivers as the Renegade at 54% saying they wouldn't buy it again, proving that paying more for a vehicle doesn't guarantee higher satisfaction. The QX50 does get brownie points for having an innovative engine and a quiet, roomy, and well-furnished interior. However, the engine doesn't provide the promised performance or fuel economy gains, and the controls are confusing to use, all of which combined equals an underwhelming experience. Plus, reliability has been average. It's available in five trim levels with an MSRP range between 40 and 58,000. It's powered by a two liter variable compression turbo four cylinder engine, good for 268 horsepower and average fuel economy ratings for the class. Rivals include the Audi Q5, BMW X3, Genesis GV70, Lexus NX, and Acura RDX. No major changes expected for it in 2023. The Jeep Compass was also poorly reviewed and regrettably purchased by 54% of its owners, which makes all the sense in the world with the dubious distinction as the lowest rated model in its class. Its performance has been described as feeling even slower than the numbers suggest. Steering is rather vague, denying the driver a feel of precision or control, and the jittery ride is neither very absorbent nor entirely well controlled. Reliability has been documented as more worse than average. The Jeep Compass is currently available in eight trims with a starting price of 28 grand. Every Compass is powered by a 2.4 liter four cylinder generating 180 horsepower. As far as competitors in this subcompact class, Mazda CX-30, Toyota CHR, and Honda HRV. No significant changes are expected for the 2023 model year. There are rumors that a plug-in or hybrid powertrain might be added though. Nissan's your next year either. On a positive note, 
and all new interior and exterior styling with updated in-car tech is expected for the Rogue Sport in 2023. Only 40% of Infiniti Q50 drivers did not regret buying this premium compact luxury sedan, which means 60% did. 60% regretted buying the Infiniti Q50. Maybe it was those 40% that thought its track testing numbers and better than average reliability ratings were accurate enough to buy it in the first place. Its below average satisfaction grades probably tell the real story. This is Infiniti's last remaining sedan, by the way. One obvious problem is, besides its subpar fuel economy and dated interior, its infotainment system is cumbersome and behind the curve. That and expensive packages make this an easy no thank you compared to its competitors. The Q50 comes in three trims starting at 43,000 and change. All trims except for the Red Sport 400 have a 300 horsepower 3 liter twin turbo V6 paired with a 7 speed automatic transmission and rear wheel drive. Better options include the BMW 3 Series, Mercedes Benz C Class, and yes, the Genesis G70. Its last major refresh was in 2016. Only minor updates are likely for the 2023 model year and will remain mostly unchanged. 63% of Chevrolet Trax owners have buyer remorse. Rated mid-pack among subcompact SUVs, track testing, which seems silly for a Trax, was rated at average and reliability is said to be much better than average, yet owner satisfaction numbers are in the toilet. Maybe because, as one automotive magazine wrote, it's a model cheaply cobbled from the underwhelming built-to-price Sonic. The plotting tracks is a disposable, forgettable appliance." End quote. Other negatives that hurt its popularity, poor ride quality on the freeway, slow acceleration from an underpowered engine, less cargo space than some rivals, and fuel economy falls short for the class. This unimpressive extra small crossover SUV comes in two trim levels starting at 22.5. Its only engine choice is a turbocharged 1.4 liter four cylinder mated to a six speed automatic transmission, which manages 155 horsepower, 177 pound feet of torque. Rivals include the Mazda CX-30, Jeep Renegade, but you already know about that one, and the Nissan Kicks. The 2023 Chevrolet Trax will be the last model year for obvious reasons. A staggering 70% of owners say they totally regret buying Ford's smallest SUV, the EcoSport, and would not buy it again. No wonder Motor Trend ranked the tiny Ford SUV dead last out of 20 different vehicles. It's probably good news that it's being dropped by the automaker. Reliability is rated worse than average, and owner satisfaction is much worse than average as well. Why so much ill will toward this four-seater on wheels? According to Motor Trend, poor value, low efficiency, and few safety features. Moreover, vehicles with more standard safety features, excellent features for the price, and greater fuel economy are far better choices. Even in the sport form, the engine options are noisy and underpowered. With a starting price of $22,000 and an average of 23 city, 29 highway, the EcoSport seems competitive. However, standard equipment just doesn't live up to the other models. Regardless of how competitive the price is, the EcoSport isn't worth the price of admission. The most regrettable and least liked vehicle for 2023, surprisingly to me, the Toyota CHR with 71% of owners saying, I wouldn't buy it again. This compact crossover is reportedly the least satisfying car you can buy for 2023. Again, I'm super surprised, but I've never owned one. I've only reviewed it and driven it. I thought the 2022 model was fine. Yes, it lacks an all-wheel drive option, which automatically limits your audience. It's slow. Drivers say it's quite loud and has horrendous rear and side visibility. Reliability is only average and odor satisfaction is much worse than average. It does have limited rear seat legroom. Key rivals have more cargo space. Competing models have more horsepower and quicker acceleration. Now it all makes sense. The CHR is available in three trims starting at 25 grand, powered by a two liter four cylinder with 144 horsepower paired to a CVT. If you want a compact crossover, you might want to try the Hyundai Kona, Mazda CX-30, Trailblazer, Kia Soul, Volkswagen Taos, and there are no major updates expected for 2023. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. 
A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.